Hey Aries, how you guys doing? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys. I'm sending you my love and hugs and kisses. Um, all right, you guys, let's see what's going on in your love life, partnerships, re situationships, relationships, all the above, right? I did do a Valentine's Day reading for you guys. Um, check it out. It is on my YouTube platform my channel <laughs> um i recorded it yesterday so that is available for all zodiac signs but this is going to just look at the energy around valentine's day a week or so after perhaps just really depends please do like share comment and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and you want more just like this one do let me know i appreciate your love and support of what i do and if you want a personalized tower reading all the details are in the description box below. You can go to my website. You can go to Etsy shop as well, okay? So let's jump right in. I'm going to start off with the Spellcasters Oracle deck. And we're going to look into the challenge you could be going through in love right now, okay? Aries. Do you guys see the A in Aries? <laughs> All right, Aries, please. Let's get two cards for Aries. The challenge for Aries, please. Ooh, okay. Financial health and we have fertility, okay? That fertility card is screaming empress to me. So some of you guys, you are the empress. You are the divine feminine energy here. The energy of the, the empress, I will say, is... is <laughs> well, she embodies all the qualities of all the queens, right? She is it. She is secure. She is um, abundant. She is very much loved. She knows her worth. She is trustworthy. She's nurturing. She's caring. She's deathly loyal. So I feel like there is someone here that wants to expand. They, they, they're looking at the situation be, being very fertile, right? There's an idea that there's an opportunity here to manifest, to grow, to thrive, okay? Now, there could be something here about finances. So I don't know. Is someone like looking at their, their finances, looking at their banking account and feeling like they can't afford you? Okay, and that could be it. It is Valentine's Day. Maybe someone is like, oh my gosh, I spent all this money on chocolates, right? <laughs> financial health could be indicating of some kind of financial strain because it's in a challenging position. And with the fertility energy, someone may be literally feeling like, can I afford you? I know you're deserving of it because you're the empress, but can I afford you? So there could be some kind of like that type of dynamic going on. Someone is looking at their money, their finances. Maybe it's not doing too well. This could be their business, right? Someone just also may want, you know, new opportunities. You know, fertility is like, I want to be loved. I want to be able to settle down. I want to have a home and family and children, little people, right? <laughs> and this could be you, Aries. All right, let's take a look. Give me the recent past for my Aries out there. Oh, okay. We got the sun in reverse, so you could be dealing with a Leo. There could be something in the past that you were not aware of or you were not seeing. Maybe you felt you were kept in the dark by someone, and yeah, that could be the case because we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. Someone in the past was definitely like holding back some kind of vital, important piece of information. There could be a lack of um, truth. It could be the energy of just not openly communicating. It feels like something was hidden. It just also feels like there were some struggles and challenges in the communication department, okay? I also feel like someone was, wasn't making a fair offer, wasn't offering enough to bring stability and security to the connection. So you may be finding yourself in a very dark place right now because the sun is in a verse. There's something here that feels it's being hidden or you're you just again it's in a dark place so it's just not growing it's not thriving you don't know what's going on you don't know this person's intentions you don't know how they feel so let's see where things are right now aries we have the seven of swords in the verse the nine of cups and the world in the verse so i definitely get the sense that there could be some cycle here that either you're having to complete, there could be some kind of situation that is resurfacing. And you're really going toward what makes you happy, Aries. That's what the Nine of Cups talks about. Your wishes, your dreams, your fulfillment. And a lot of you guys, you're really making that your, your priority, as you should. Now, there is the energy of someone here where you're kind of questioning if you can trust them. Are they up to any good? You know, the Seven of Swords could be a very sneaky energy. And if that's the case, it could be someone here that's going to 
say something that's going to help clear the air on that matter. If you're questioning if this is someone you should keep around or trust, they're going to be saying some things or tell you something that is going to make you feel good. Let's, I'm not going to be honest. Uh, I'll be honest here. The Nine of Cups is like feel good. But it also feels like it's going to help in clearing out some kind of guck between you guys. Clearing the air. If you felt this way, this person only cares about themselves, they're going to help explain what really happened, why I was doing this, why I wasn't taking consideration of maybe your feelings at the time or why it may have seemed that way. So there's something about clearing the air, going back to some kind of situation that was left undone, unsaid, something that may have been left unspoken. There's something that you're going back to with regard to a person Aries, okay? That's the best way I can explain it. And, you know, it's possible that it's going to make you happy. So let's take a look. What's in the foundation external to you? Four of Swords in reverse, Five of Wands in reverse, the Devil, Capricorn energy, and Eight of Swords. I will say, whatever you and your person are doing right now, it does feel like it's very energetically heavy um, because it feels like your person feels stuck and tied down just as much as you are. Um, in fact, even more so because there's a lot of swords here. Maybe they're an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but there's a lot of overthinking, stress, anxiety, frustrations. Oh my gosh going around and around their head, feeling like they can't get out of this situation, okay? So, yeah, it's very possible that your person is coming clean and owning up about a situation because they feel the same way. They feel it's necessary. And with the Four of Swords, I definitely get the sense someone wants to heal and recover, and they want peace of mind. They want peace of mind that, you know what, I did everything I could. I, I reached out to Aries. I tried to clear the air. I tried to make it right. I did everything that I could. So I can sleep for, I can sleep well at night. And that's the energy of the Four of Swords here. Someone definitely wants to resolve some kind of ongoing tension or conflict with you because this is like, I don't want to fight anymore. Five of Wands, I'm tired of holding on to this, this, this situation. I want to let it go. And the devil could be that energy with the world's universe. It could feel like there's some kind of cycle that you and your person haven't been able to complete. And it feels undone. It feels unfinished, right? So, yeah, I feel like there's something you're resolving. And, you know, I think that this is something that you and your person has been wanting to do for a really long time. Maybe you've gone through an extended period of time of just being very unhappy that you both have been in this very dark place, not talking and not speaking. There's a, definitely a silencing energy here. Whether you silence your person, whether you blocked your person energetically or in social media or something, that is what I'm seeing going on. Now, let's see. Where are things going in terms of the outcome? Queen of Wands. There you are, Aries. So that's your energy. We have the Fool in reverse. Aries energy, that's you. And then we have the Moon. Um, I feel like there's something here you're not aware of. And I think you're going to be very confident with the Queen of Wands energy. You're going to be moving forward. But then there's something here that you need to know that you're not aware of. You're not seeing. And it could be regarding a new opportunity that someone wants with you. The Fool card could be that, you know, the simple fact that someone isn't sure. They're not trusting of themselves. They're not trusting of you. They're not trusting of of love. There's something here where there could be fears. There could be fears regarding a new beginning with you. And so that could be why you're not seeing it. Because it hasn't come in yet, right? So let's see. New beginnings for sure with the Fool, but it feels hidden because of that Moon card. So let's see what we can find out. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe, my Aries. We're going to start off with the challenge, which is that fertility, Empress energy, and financial health. All right. Um, messages for Aries. The Emperor in reverse. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with your divine masculine. And I felt that fertility card being in the Empress. So it makes sense how fitting the Emperor is here too. Now, with the Emperor in reverse, I do feel like your person knows they got big shoes to fill, right? There's a lot they need to do. There's a lot they need to make up on. They need to come correct. They need to make good decisions. They need to be the leader, not the follower. There's the energy of making good, uh, good judgment calls. And... I think that's what happened here. Maybe someone isn't feeling very secure in their abilities, right? And that, that is a challenge for someone to rise up, to maybe get their finances together, get better health in order for a situation to grow and thrive with that fertility energy, okay? So give me the recent past Ace of Swords in a verse. Definitely some communication issues, Two of Cups in a verse. Yeah, Seven of Swords came out in the Ten of Pentacles. Something in the past seems so promising. You know, you know, it feels with the Ten of Pentacles, you and this person had plans for a future, for something very um, stable, long-term. This could be like planning your, your wedding. And with the Seven of Swords, I feel like someone sabotaged it. I mean, the Two of Cups is here as well. So this could be someone that you consider your partner, the missing puzzle piece in your life. 
And it feels like with the Seven of Swords, it's the energy of lying, cheating, doing something behind your back, right? Ace of Swords, maybe they didn't tell you. Sun in reverse, maybe they kept you in this dark place and you had no idea what was going on. It could be like that, for sure. And that may have certainly led to this ending or breakup or separation between you and your person. So I do feel the Two of Cups was something that came apart. You know, again, something that had great potential. Give me the energy of the Page of Pentacles. It also feels like someone was very stingy with their time, their energy, money, or resources. And yeah, Ten of Swords came out again. So definitely the energy of complete ending, abrupt, kind of definitely uh, took you by surprise. But there's definitely some kind of financial piece here. It was almost like someone like came into a whole bunch of money and they didn't even share it with you. They did something here that was very... Uh, it, it feels very stingy. It feels like someone was only thinking about themselves. I don't know where that plays in with you guys, but let's take a look at the energy right now. Someone could be coming to clear the air. There's some kind of unfinished business with the world in reverse. Knight of Pentacles, something's coming in very slowly, and it could be the simple fact that maybe... <laughs> There is some conflict between you guys that have been left, um, you know, ongoing. And someone will be coming in very slowly, very cautious though, because the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, slow moving night. But they're coming in with them some kind of opportunity to restabilize the connection and move away from conflict, from drama, from tension, from strife. Now, we also have Ace of Cups here. So I wouldn't be surprised that your person's coming back in, with intention to offer you new love. So it's almost like I'm going to clear the air. I'm going to make up for what I've done and revisit this so I can have this new beginning in love. There is a new beginning coming in for you and your person. And that is what you need to know right now. Okay. So why you're revisiting the situation, why this person is reemerging or resurfacing in your life is because there's a new beginning being um, happening for you guys. Now, the Ace of Cups can also be an entirely new person that comes in. Just take it how it resonates, okay? Why is this person stressed out with the Four of Swords and the Five of Wands? Well, the death, <laughs> Queen of Cups. Maybe there was some kind of ending with the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe they're stressed or anxious because of their dealings with the Queen of Cups. Just take it how it resonates. It could be also Scorpio. Someone lied. I feel like your person was very dishonest, okay? And they stuck to that lie for as long as they could. But now they're getting um, called out on it or they're coming clean about it. Because, well, they don't want to fight and it's keeping them feeling stuck and bound to it. And it feels like, I want to break away from this. So there is an ending or some kind of big change and transformation taking place in their life. And they can be very anxious about this, very stressed out about this. But they know it's needed. They know it's very necessary, okay? I don't know who this Queen of Cups is. It feels like it's a third party or someone. It could be a matriarch of the family. It could be a mother figure. It could be a feminine energy, perhaps, okay, of some sort. And it's on your person's side. So there's some stress regarding an ending that may have happened because of the Queen of Cups. Or there's a stress uh, where they're coming into you because of an ending because they have with the Queen of Cups, okay? So just take it how it resonates. Maybe there was an ending with the Queen of Cups and now they're coming in anxious and stressed because they want to have this new beginning with you. Um, there's something that they're holding on to with the devil card. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that's been holding back their feelings. And it feels like by holding back, bottling up their emotions and feelings, it's becoming toxic in some way. It's like, I can't keep holding on to this. <laughs> I gotta let it go. They also could have had a way of being very emotionally manipulative with the King of Cups in a verse. And they're working that through. They're working on improving that. What are they feeling stuck about? Eight of Swords? Queen of Pentacles and a verse and a five of cups. They have a lot of regrets because this is someone here that may have passed you up. Certainly, you could be that Queen of Pentacles energy. doesn't have to be. But it feels like there was an opportunity of stability. They may have saw you as someone that was a good counterpart. You you know, you guys were like-minded. There was the same values you guys had. You guys were, were going to expand and uh, do good things with each other. Like It feels like it was very... Very strong. There was great potential here. And so there's a lot of disappointment, sadness, five of cups, regrets about this not working out. And that could be something they're holding themselves to and feeling stuck and bound to, okay? Something from the past. And I think, honestly, the, <laughs> there's something from the past that they're still holding on. I don't know if it's going to come out yet because we're ending with the moon. So there's something you don't know regarding this person, Aries, that, well, they're hidden intentions, they're hidden desires, the empress with you. <laughs> um yeah it feels like someone is hiding because of their fears and insecurities regarding their connection with you or maybe they did something to you where they didn't um work to 
show you or just show you how much you meant to them when i see the empress in reverse it this is when the divine feminine doesn't feel appreciated it doesn't feel desired it doesn't feel cared for or nurtured and maybe they made you feel that way so there is an idea of having a new beginning but first maybe having to get over some kind of fears and insecurities they have now for a select few of you guys we do have the queen of wands and the empress for some of you there's something they're hiding with the moon card regarding getting someone else pregnant that is what I'm seeing. The Empress is here. And so they're afraid to come in because there is something they're hiding regarding someone else being pregnant. Okay, we have fertility. We have the Empress here. I mean, it's very strong in your reading today. Um, is there a big secret? Is there something they didn't tell you and they're afraid to come in and talk to you because of it? That is something you're all having to know and explore and find out more. Okay, but we definitely have new love coming in for you guys in the current energy. So that is definitely something I'm seeing. Aries. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you are aware when I upload these readings. And you all have a great week ahead. Happy Valentine's Day again. Take care. Bye.